trying to draw the shape of this this tree over here. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a really tall ash tree, and it's it's quite stunning. I'm just using a white pen. You can also do it with white chalk. Um, I've drawn the outline. <laughs> No, I'm not an artist, okay? So this is just an interpretation of uh, this beautiful ash tree up here. And um, I'm going to have a go at, at drawing the, the inside of it, um, of what I think the molecular structure might look like, or the, the feel, the energy of the tree. Now, I did one the other day with pebbles. So these are pebbles off Pakefield Beach near Lowestoft and um, I've just kind of done some patterns inside and how I thought those pebbles were feeling or you know the matter that's inside them, the density, the, the age, the wisdom that's within those stones and I thought I'd have a little go on this tree. Uh, so yeah I'm gonna have a little go. And there isn't any, there isn't any right or wrong way to do this, which is what I like the most about it, because when I was at high school, I um, went to my art teacher and excitedly told her that I was going to take GCSE, well it was O-level at the time, art, and she replied by telling me I wasn't any good at art and to go and study geography which I've always regretted because I didn't like my geography teacher um, but it makes a lot of difference doesn't it how you the relationship you have with people who tutor you um, but anybody can do art like either there is no right or there is no no wrong so um, put a few dots in there. I reckon those, this ash tree must be must be a couple of hundred years old. And that's that's quite bonkers, isn't it? You know, to think that something has lived that long. It's like longer than you know. It's older than my grandmother who was 90 when she died older than her grandmother which is which is amazing that trees live that, that long just think of all the things that they must have seen in their lifetime so i'm just drawing little spirals and some little lines little dots. I mean anything goes really. I said before there is no right and there is no wrong. I've actually got it in my pocket like a big chalk pen because I just found this in my car. Oh, let's have a go at something thicker. So here it is. I'm gonna try Oh, I quite like that. Some little spirally bits up here. Think of the strength that must be in the tree around here. I think it's got to be quite dense around there. So I'm going to do a bit of density with a couple of wiggly lines in there. Hmm. I like the thick, but I think I like the thing better. So um, that's where I'm at with it right now. I shall come back when I've finished it so you can see and it's something that you can do at home because of course if you haven't got black paper and you haven't got a white pen then you can do it the other way around. <sighs> Radical! You can put it on white paper with black pen or any colour paper with another colour pen. It doesn't matter what the colours what the colours are, the most important thing is that you go out and enjoy it and it could be anything. You could draw the pebbles like I showed you, you could draw leaves with patterns inside, you could draw your hand with patterns inside, just 
any shape really. The great thing about it is you can just doodle. So yeah, doodle away and I'll show you this when it finishes. Catch you in a bit. So here's the beautiful ash tree that I've just drawn my own interpretation of. It's got a big tall trunk there. And uh, reaching out branches and so I've only done about that part of it because it's just it's so big to draw. And here are you ready? Bum 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 is my my final piece. There it is. It's trunk, strong, swirling, bursting from the earth, reaching strong bit in the middle that we talked about and reaching up with those those clawy bits at the top right there which is just the same as the clawy bits up there well similar anyway i hope you get a chance to go and have a play because it's it's just nice to doodle and relax and and enjoy take some time have a go and show us what you've created. Take care.